In this video, we're going to look at the product moment correlation coefficient. The product moment correlation coefficient is a measure of the correlation of two variables. So it's a measure of the strength of correlation. It can go between minus one and plus one with a negative one answer being a perfect negative correlation, a plus one answer being a perfect positive correlation, and a zero answer of being no correlation at all. So on a scatter graph, a perfect straight line positive correlation means R is one. A perfect straight line negative correlation means R is negative one. And if there is no pattern at all, so no relationship between X and Y, R is zero. So let's look at working out the product moment correlation coefficient. We are given a formula which we're going to use. So R is SXY divided by the square root of SXX times SYY. And we're also told the formulas to work out each of those components. So SXX, we're given, SYY we're given, and SXY we're given. So this is just working out each of the component parts, SXX, SYY, and SXY, and then substituting them in to find R, which is the product moment correlation coefficient. So let's do this step by step. So firstly, we're going to have to work out SXX, SYY, and SXY. We've been given all the summary statistics here. So we just need to substitute in. So SXX is the sum of the X squareds, which is 425 minus the sum of the x's squared, so 29 squared, over n, which is 10. So we just type this into the calculator, and we should get out 340.9. Now SYY, so SYY, that's the sum of the y squareds, so 3, 4, 4, minus the sum of the y's squared, so 20 squared, over n, which is 10, and that gives us 304, and sxy is the sum of the xy's, which is negative 71, minus the sum of the x times the sum of the y, 29 times 20, over n, which is 10. And that gives us negative 129. So now we can work at R by substituting these into the formula. So R is SXY, which is negative 129, over the square root of SXX, 340.9, times SYY, 304. So we can just type this into the calculator and to two decimal places, we get an answer of 0 0.40 minus 0 0.40. So this is a negative correlation. We've got a negative answer. So as X is increasing, Y will decrease. So you can say that there is a negative correlation. Okay, here's another question. So you can pause the video 
try and give this one a go and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. Okay, so firstly, we're going to work out SXX. So SXX is the sum of the X squareds, which is 990 this time, minus the sum of the X's squared, so 70 squared, over N, which is 5 this time. So that should give us an answer of 10. SYY is the sum of the Y squareds, which is 123, minus the sum of the Y's squared, so 23 squared, over N. And that should give us 17.2. And SXY is the sum of the XYs, which is 332, minus the sum of the Xs times the sum of the Ys over N. And that should give us 10 again. So that means that R is SXY, which is 10, over the square root of SXX, 10 times SYY, 17.2. And that gives us our product moment correlation coefficient of the two decimal places, 0 0.76. So this time we've got a positive correlation, so as x increases, y also increases.